what's exciting for me is seeing that world come to life in a way that was really originally envisioned. It wasn't like I was envisioning, let's do a flip screen game, you know, where every time the whole screen goes away and you move to the left or the right and you don't see where it was, you know, I mean, that was a very difficult problem. It was a very limited technology problem. But today, taking that into a dynamically panning and scrolling world that has real-time lighting effects and real-time character animation and allows us to have more organic analog controls and not digitally fixed, uh, you know, when I'm playing it, I'm starting to feel the stuff I felt about Abe's Odyssey, but I'm not feeling that I'm playing something that's 17 years old. I feel like I'm playing something very sort Obviously, of the, the camera angle on the on the the old games was just dead straight front. I've noticed in some of the screenshots and some of the footage that the the camera seems to have taken a, or in some in some instances, the camera has taken a subtle shift to sort of top left looking down. Um, I don't know if that's still the case or if that's just... You know, well, we, we thought we had... It's a great question. We thought we had an interesting design problem. And uh, what, we, what we found from the audience was people were saying, we want the classic 2D play. Mm. And uh, to me, that was very surprising, right? And, and, and it leads to the question, why? Why? You know, when you've got, you know, you've got... 3D graphics out there, they're just stellar today. Why is it that you still want to see this classic 2D play? And what my takeaway was, was that people didn't want to think about all the navigation of, you know, looking around. They wanted to stay focused on the play. And when you just had a character that was either going left or right or running and jumping, you know, doing these basic things, they weren't thinking about 3D navigation. Mm. And we said, this is very interesting, but how do we get more of a 3D deep uh, visual sensibility and not take away that simplicity and controls so that people aren't dealing with like running down the, the, the a narrow passage, but having to stay on, on, you know, on the tightrope, yeah. how they steer, they just know they want to run left or right. And that's, that, that, that's where I was coming from. Cause it, in the, in the screenshots and things with that subtle shift of camera, it, it looks like it would, you know, either, um, I don't know if it was adding something to the gameplay or changing the gameplay slightly from what it used to be. Um, so yeah, it was. It's it's seeing that, like I say, although it's a subtle shift, it it looks like it would it would have quite a dramatic impact one way or the other on on the actual gameplay. So let's say the other. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> think a positive way because yeah, no. what we found was that that simplicity of controls, that simplicity of being able to sort of watch the experience not have to be, you know, the guy who's the fastest draw in Call of Duty, right? Uh, but be able to watch that experience and play it, but feel like, I mean, this is what we heard a lot from the audience. They felt like it was more like a movie, even though it wasn't moving a 3D camera, right? Mm -hmm. Because they got more engaged with the character. They got more engaged with the atmosphere and the environments, uh, with the richness of the pre-rendered worlds. And so what we, uh, I believe we, we figured out was, how we are able to give you a greater 3D uh, uh, sense of the world and angles and more interesting views, but at the same time, retain the simplicity of control so you're not having to deal with that. And I think we've actually achieved that in a, in a pretty positive way. And so it's a little, you know, it's a little bit evolved on that old genre. And as a result, that, that sort of, I just want to focus on the gameplay, not how well, how good of a steerer I am, you know, uh, that that's actually coming through. And, and what's weird is you can start playing at these different angles, but you're still feeling the experience in the very same type of way. And, and I think that was, uh, you know, even amongst the crew here, those decisions were like, no, 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 we need to stay, you know, into the classic uh, camera view perspective, this ortho orthograph orthographic view. And I can understand that sort of concern and desire, but uh, you know, part of my role is really pushing that and, and pushing the team to, to say, what's, this is what's really important, this is what isn't, this is where we can push, this is where we shouldn't.